Hi, I'm David Peltier, the Edmonton Oilers skating coach. I'm here at Sportcheck West Edmonton Mall, their flagship store. We're here to talk about power skating, how to be faster on the ice. I'll give you tricks. You have to hit the ice to be better skating, but you also have to talk about gear. So let's do that. You have to remember there's not one bad skate out there. They're all great skate, but it might be a bad skate for you. So what you want to try to avoid is negative space. Too much space between your foot and the boot won't make you as efficient as you'd like. So you need comfort. Don't get influenced by who or what kind of brand of skate your favorite skater or your favorite hockey player is wearing. Wear something that fits you. And you don't have to copy what the NHL guys do. You have to be comfortable. Those are your tools and skating start with being comfortable in your own skates. It's not that complicated. You need to be on the ice. We put cones so it indicates the kind of route I want you to take. So for tight turns or pivot, that indicates where I want you to actually execute the skill. And since skating and hockey go together, we need pucks. And with pucks, there's a lot of exercise we can do. And obviously, once you have acquired the skill, then you have to do it with a puck because fundamentally, hockey is played with it. We have our gear. Let's hit the ice at Roger's place. The first drill I'm going to show you, we're going to use puck. The puck is perfect. It's going to teach you how to stay balanced. It's going to teach you how to create force. It's going to make a good warm up for your edge. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to put your toe on the puck. It's very important to have the toe and the heel up. You want to get down low, keep the stick on the ice, and just start moving slowly on the inside edge. Once you feel comfortable on the inside edge, then you got to move your stick away, change direction, because the stick always leads. Move the stick, change direction. Then you can go from the inside edge to the outside edge again. Once you're comfortable with that, you can go backwards. Use the back inside edge. And then once you're comfortable with that, you can go from forward to backwards. You're gonna always find your balance because hockey is a game of balance. Well, I think most hockey players are comfortable going on the air, inside edge. This drill, we're gonna use the cone and it's a great warm up also for crossovers and how to use our outside edge. It's also a great stretch for those muscles right here on, this, on the side. It's a great stretch for your hip muscles. Now it's a drill you don't have to do very fast. Actually, I prefer it to go slow. You're really gonna go reach with that outside edge. Make sure you go over the cone. As you get the switch side, get the right foot over the left. There's no need to go fast. Helps you go get that outside edge on both feet. As I said, hockey players love their inside edges. But if you want to be a complete skater, you need to use both. Since hockey is a game of balance, it's played at high speed where you get pushed. I love to focus my exercises on balance. What we're going to do now is double three turns. So I'm going to go from forward to backwards to forward, always using the same foot. So there's a lot of time in the hockey game. Obviously, you're going from forward to backwards both feet. Now I'm just going to stay on one foot to find that sweet spot on the blade. We go cross over, left foot, turn back, turn forward. I'm still on the left foot, cross over. Release the pressure every time I'm changing direction. There you have it. Sport Check wants to give you the opportunity to come and skate with me. All you need to do is go on the other social media and use hashtag my better.